Hey everybody, welcome. It is Caleb, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about other channels here on YouTube. So, specifically, we're going to be talking about the best channels to learn C++. Also experimenting with my new setup. I painted the wall and stuff, so let me know what you guys think. I'm working on it. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about a couple of different channels here. And I didn't just look up C++ and grab the, the top viewed channels. I tried to get a good variety in here for different types of people and even some newer channels out there. So it should be pretty exciting. Also, I don't really personally learn a whole lot from YouTube videos. I prefer to read books. So I haven't really watched a ton of these people's content. But everything I see from their content, it seems really good. But... I'm ultimately going to leave the judgment up to uh, you guys. So check out these channels and let me know what you think. Now, we can all agree that learning C++ is fairly difficult. So there's not a ton of C++ channels out there. But, you know, it could probably be a lot easier to develop in C++ if you had the right tools, such as our sponsor. Yep, I just did that. C++ Builder is the IDE of choice for rapidly building C++ applications. Utilize drag and drop visual components that are responsive and allow for cross-platform deployments. When building data-driven applications, you can bind data sources to visual components to make working with data easy. Go ahead and get started with a free trial of the Architect Edition, which will give you all of the features of C++ Builder. So whether you're a beginner just getting started or want to build enterprise-level applications, C++ Builder is the tool for you. I'll leave a link in the description. So we can agree that Programming in C++ is kind of a living nightmare, but these channels can make it easier. And the first one I recommend is the Cherno. The Cherno is really deep in C++ and covers a lot of stuff that I don't ever talk about on my channel. For example, he even has a whole series on game engines. And I would say that's really where his specialty is. So if you're interested in game engines or even game development, then check out the Cherno. He even came from EA as a software engineer, so that's a pretty big deal. I think he's quite successful in his career, and I think now he's working on his own game engine. You can find up in GitHub, it's called Hazel, and he does live streams talking about this and all kinds of other stuff. So if that is the kind of content you're interested in, then I would recommend the Cherno. The next up on my list of suggestions is a really small, fairly new channel called Coding Cleverly, and... I usually don't recommend new channels because they tend to stop creating content and then I just kind of feel dumb. But so far, so good. He, he's been posting consistent C++ content for the last three or four months and the content seems to be pretty deep. And I think he's at the point in his channel where the content itself is actually really good. He could just use a little bit of work with production in terms of quality of the audio and so forth. But overall, really good stuff. This kind of reminds me of when I started my channel. My content was fire, but the actual production quality was just awful. Well, hello, my name's Caleb, and we're gonna learn how to invite people to Google+. So when would I suggest coding cleverly? Well, if you're looking for a smaller channel where you might be able to have a stronger relationship with, or maybe even one-on-one -on -one conversation, then check out coding cleverly. So overall, a great opportunity to get connected with a channel very early. Next up, we have Code Beauty, and on her channel, she does have individual C++ videos, but I think she's ultimately best known for her 10-hour C++ full course. One thing that's good about this video is it does have the picture-in-picture. -picture. You got the camera and the screen, so it's a little bit more interactive. I've personally not really liked that form of content, so for my stuff, I switch between the screen and the face, but, you know, everyone has their own taste, so if... If you would like the more personal interaction, then this might be a good video for you. Now, in my defense, my 10-hour C++ video is 34 seconds longer than hers. So if you need that additional content, then I just recommend sticking with my C++ video. Other than that, great. Next up, we have a YouTube channel, Trevor Payne. Now, Trevor Payne was actually one of the first channels that I talked to and connected with as another creator over the internet. So we go back quite far, and I would say his channel is really ideal if maybe you're coming to programming from a uh, related field, but not necessarily programming. So he came from a graphics design and visual effects artist background and came over to C++ development and Python development. So as for professional experience, this guy really has it all. 
being a visual effects designer at Blizzard, which is kind of cool because I've played some of the Blizzard games and whenever there's a cutscene, I'm thinking, oh, maybe he did, maybe he made this thing, but I don't really know. But he came from Blizzard and now he is working on his own game and he still does visual effects. I think, it, is that the word visual effects for like the game engine cutscenes? I don't know. But whatever that stuff is, that's what he does mainly, but he also has gotten involved in programming. So if you're in a similar situation, this would be the perfect channel for you. He hasn't posted in quite a while, but I think overall his C++ series starting right here is pretty popular and people tend to like it. So check that out. I like the way he has it set up where he has a uh, code on one side and then notes on the other. So it's really, really organized way of learning. Very, very good. It's unique too. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it quite like this. Now this next channel is probably not gonna need an introduction for many of you watching this because he's very popular here on YouTube and that is Derek Bonas. I actually don't know how to say his last name. My bad if it's wrong, but he has some really good C++ videos, but he also does videos on all kinds of different programming languages. Now, I really don't recommend this channel for everybody. I think this channel is ideal if maybe you have some programming experience and you want that crash course style of content or you just want to get the information pretty quickly in an organized way, then I think his content is ideal. So for example, his C++ video, it's an hour and 10 minutes, but you'll probably get more information in that hour than you're gonna get in some other videos that are a few hours. And then you can follow that video up with his more updated C++ tutorial 2020. I watched his videos for a few different programming languages that I studied in school. Didn't pay too much attention in class, unfortunately, but then I was able to learn a lot of information very quickly following his videos. So overall, that is my summary. Five C++ channels you should know about. Uh, obviously, this is not comprehensive. There's channels out there that I did not cover. And um, let me know what you think in the comments if there's a good channel out there for learning C++. And overall, I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to subscribe. And I will uh, see you in the next one, I guess. Bye.